Oh, good lord, let's see what happens. <laughs> I just started it right where I was, so... Maybe I'll cut this shit out, uh, if it takes too long. But anyway, thank- uh, thank you? <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining. But, uh, hello everyone, I am the Dave. Welcome back to what might actually be the final video of Beyond Good and Evil, depending on how long this takes me. This is the final level, unless I forgot about something. So, yeah, this probably is. Now, how we're going to do this, I have no idea, because I'm not 100% certain where to get a mirror. But I also think there's a chance for, like, an enemy to spawn that will provide it. Also, these things. I have a sneaking suspicion those are mirrors, so we're gonna have to, like, fire the laser through, like, a gap into there bounce it like from there to there from there to there through the gap and then do that i mean that's makes that's about that makes about as much sense as i can come up with the hell is that we need a mirror That's the, that's the tricky thing. Like, what the hell do we do? Alright, how do we get the mirror off? Do we, like... Uh... Use your thinky brain! Let's go back here. Uh-huh. I didn't notice that. We have a lead. So, got that. So, now we've got our mirror. Hooray. Okay. So, now... Hopefully, everything works out peachy keen. Otherwise, I really am going to be fucking stuck. Uh, forward unto mirror. Thank you. We will do this. Put. And I want... Yeah, and that's like a perfect thing. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? And that's all well and cool. We'll do that in a minute. I want to kick this crystal's ass. Why? Fuck if I know. Nice. Not especially elf help, helpful at this stage in the game because I got a lot of health and I got a lot of shit. Maximum dookie. That's a weird angle. Alright. So we got a twist. We have to succeed in turning the upper half of these columns. Thou thinkst! Comes from there. Yeah, they operate at an angle, so we need to angle it. Or it's like... What is it? Like... 45 degree angles, maybe? Yeah, regardless. Uh-oh. I don't know where that... Eat. All right. Wrong one, you dumbass. All right. Unless I get my directions mixed up. All righty. 
We have suck seeds and we, uh, yeah. Lunar Techno Hellscape, the video game. All right, the puzzle. Again, I vaguely remember this being the headest of the ache. Because it's like you've got to break. Uh, you've got to essentially, I think you have to do like a full circuit. I mean, I'm going to feel pretty stupid if I solve it first try, ironically. Because I think you have to match all of the doors and then like warp it back in on itself. Also, the, uh, there's, <laughs> they, they, they don't render the other side of the door, so it looks like they're open. That's kind of trippy. Okay. So now we pass it through there. Because we can't break flow. This is some mist type shit. And I'm not gonna lie, this this doesn't seem that complicated. Okay, what's not lit up? And then we can correct it. That one, okay. I mean, there's actually a very, very, very strong chance that it's a bad angle. Like, maybe instead of... Well, let me see. Instead of the crossbar... It may need... It may need to cross through. So, wait, there's only one missing. Not exactly, uh, first try. So, one, two, th three, four. So, we're only, we only need four. And I choose you. All right, well, I remember that being a pain in the ass. It worked, though. Hey, motherfucker. Carlson and Peters. Uh-oh. I'll come back for you. I'll bring you back home. The pig is dead. Long live the pig. Damn, that sucks. All right. Let's go ahead and save our game. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do at this point. 
Ooh. To wrap up the report. So, um... Is that a light gate? What do we do at this point? Paw. That's an interest. That's... Does this pass through? Like... I swear, if I if it breaks form and causes it to like just not not work anymore, I'm gonna be slightly pissed. <sighs> Honestly, I don't really know what to do. Like this, I I I I, I gotta get on that elevator. But how does elevator work? Well, I guess we're going back again. We're jumping down. All of those are lit up, so it's not like... I mean, they're all lit up, so I guess... Um, that's all we can do here. This is going to be a little bit of backtracking. Goddamn. I, ex I keep expecting just some new enemies to show up. Ah, okay, we are supposed to go back here. Shawnee, it's incredible. We just got an email from the chief. He's alive, Jade, alive. Paige! What the hell? Well, don't fall off. Good lord. Screw up my settings, I hope. They're exactly as I found them. Stench and all. Paige, I... You were... Dead, I know. But you saved me. You're the one that brought me back to life. I don't know. You're Fuck you do that. You think you are, Jade. There's always been a prodigious energy hidden deep inside you. Now it's coming to the surface, and you're starting to understand it. Paige, the kids, okay. they... Yes. Good I luck! Know. I don't remember them ever explaining that shit. They've taken them to the Great Crypt. The only way to get there is by using the landing strip. We'll have to come back in the ship, but we can't do anything for them right now. There's too few of us. We need help in order to attack the lunar base in full force. The only way of obtaining the support of the Hillians is to follow Nino's plan, wrap up the report, and use the long-range transmitter to broadcast it. Okay, let's get a move on. Groovy two shoes. <laughs> I'm being double just right. We have to follow the plan. Otherwise, we're screwed. There, Tom, Tom's priest, S saving sound in its shell. Yep. Never said a word to us about it. I was afraid for you. Afraid of what? You're not like the others. Okay. So, let's get our reporting on. So, I think that means going back to the hangar. I know how it feels. I spent 16 hours in that machine. I thought I'd never get out. I've been in it for three weeks. Good lord. I didn't think it I didn't think it took us that long to get here. Thanks for coming to my rescue. No problem. I think I've heard that sound effect before. Get him away! Now we got two fucking pachyderms. Alright. Hey, wait a minute. That's the beluga. He managed to get the old girl up and running. You kidding? I hardly had anything to do. You must have spent a lot of time on her. Anything to add? Oh, well, guess not. Me. Yeah. Ten four. Rato. Hurry, everyone to the transmitter room. Let's go. Sixty millimeter cannon. Six eight progression. House of the Peters Cage. 
Well, fuck you. Hang on tight. We're almost to the transmitter. What's this shit? Wait, that's a tram. Probably where we need to be. What's over here? What's that? Can I kill it? Nope. It doesn't even exist. Choo choo! You can imitate the sound of a bong by just sucking water through your lips. It's, it's like a more fancy reader. Look at that. Fancy schmancy. Pull down my pantsy. Alrighty. Okay. Looks like we're playing Doom, but with artifacting. I need more proof, Shawnee. Wrap up your report first and then Bitch, I'm on the moon! How much more proof do you need? How many bits of photographic evidence do we- Ah, who gives a shit? So... We have the Abstergo logo. Alright, here's an idea. Here's a fucking idea for you. Oh, four, five, one. Bitch. Okay, so I guess we are going back to Hillis. And we gotta go clear the freaking laser tits. All right. I don't like taking health. Like, or I don't like losing health. Even if it is, it's one heart out of five million and seven. But you know, that's still, that's still hearts I can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was a transmitter. So. I have some legitimate questions. Okay. So, we have to transmit the proof. I mean, that's cool. So, okay, so we do take the beluga to the... I thought it was like, we need to get support and then fly to the... Okay, I thought this was a back and forth thing. So, we'll take the beluga to the landing port. Get the proof. Broadcast it. And then the profit. Our motor isn't responding anymore. I'm switching back to the regular motor. That was our ticket back to Hillis. We have no other choice now. Head for the moon. We are on the moon, you dumb fuck. Uh, oh, mouse controls just doesn't really work. It's not sensitive enough. Head for the moon. Are we not on the moon? Oh shit! Wait, th is that Hillis? Yeah, I don't actually know where we are anymore. <laughs> I think this is the moon. It said so, 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 Selena, Selena. Ooh, what's that? Uh, I I don't think Hillis is an ice planet, so I'm going to assume that's the moon. Eventually. Well, we can't break into it because there's a shield. I don't know where the landing port is. Is it just on the ground somewhere? No, it's right there. We're gonna hurt. No, it didn't hurt too much. All right. Did I just fail to get a report? Like, I, 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 we took the elevator down to the transmitter. Meaning I probably did. Mother of the tits! I'm gonna pause the recording right quick. This, this is stupid. I'm not gonna waste your time with me being stupid. Well, any more time. Hell, I might even cut this shit out. Fuck! Okay, I still don't actually know what I'm doing here. But I did make a discovery. Not that. Um, if you stand on this and then push go. Have to wrap up the report first, Jake. So you come down here. And he says we have to wrap up the report. Whatever it is, 
It's here. Maybe not here, here, but we are in the right area. Now. Here is uh, what I can only describe as my current concern. If you look at the map, we are two floors above where we need to be. We're not even in the correct chamber. So, there is a chance our report is out here. Because I actually, even though he's like, oh, we have to get the report first, you can force one of them on the other pad with some clever manipulation. Because I, I had to check to see if I could fly the beluga toward like the space pad or something and take a picture of it. Near as I can tell, this might be what we need to report. Which, as it turns out, it ain't. So, there's some gonna be some stairs. There's gonna be something we gotta do to get this son of a bitch going. This needs to open! Thank you, kindly pass me by. I'm thinking maybe we need to break the circuit. Is there anything else here we need to do? I mean, that just flat out killed the beam. <sighs> Maybe we... Maybe we need to... I mean, this seems like a fucking puzzle. Wait! Don't blow your cover, Fuck! I have to bring back the information. Fuck this fucking goddamn... What the Christmas... <laughs> I the problem has been solved. We gotta get him up here somehow. Oh, there's two cunts. Oh, you didn't see it. Alright. Uh, dickheads over there, some shit over here, that looks like a fucking rocket engine. Ten bucks says they hear it. Nope. Cool. At least they're not, like, infinite sight. Like, uh, the, 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 once you get to fucking Groznygrad in MGS3, or, like, we'll just say after, um, the torture scene... I always find that, you know, for AI that's notoriously blind, they get really fucking good at spotting me from, like, 17 miles away. Are there any tur tur turret cameras? I don't think so. Come on, fool. You can't touch me. Suck my cock. Alright, look. Here's what's gonna happen. You are going to, like, lose sight of me. And then you're gonna go back to your friend. And then I'm gonna kick your ass. Ow. Or you'll hit me. I, I know this is possible. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's still got his shield up. Now he doesn't. Wow. That shit worked. 
I thought you couldn't kill him. But you can! With the power of ShamWow, anything's possible. Alright. You could sneak past them, I think. Either that or that's there to teach you under certain circumstances you can... <laughs> Almost became as Skybox. Um, this looks bioorganic. Or, uh, what's bioorganic? Me mechanic organic? What the fuck? Whatever. The Great Crypt. At some point we hear that that leader dude, General Kex or whatever, we hear him talking like from like a hole in the wall. That's like the only other thing. Oh, fucking Christmas. It's like a platforming puzzle, but all the platforms are tubes. Oh, it's this part. Where are we going? Down. I know where we're going. We're going down. Oh, green means go. All right. Unless that's where we came from. Actually, I think that's where we're going. Green may be where we started. Hopefully it's color coded accordingly. Wait, I don't No, That's not where we're going. Oh, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Right. Now, my brain says we're going up. And then we'll go over. And... Maybe? Oh, hell yeah. We fucking win. In the ass. Fucking hell. As they betray, you need me just as much as I need you, Your Excellency. Yeah. Okay. Shawnee Orbe's Meta. Shawnee Dom's Deandra. I vaguely remember that. Shawnee Dom's Deandra. Fucking metal. All right. Have. Hillian sadistically sacrificed, drained of all their energy by a Dom's priest. Revolt, citizens! Drive out the Alpha sections and the Doms. Cool. And wipe away the debt. Well, you gonna get Shawnee, motherfucker. Quickly. If the population revolts, the Alpha sections will surely try to flee. Um, I mean, they tried to do the, the fucking Combine one under those same conditions. Ananapad. You know, <laughs> you ever had one of those days? All right. Now, this is what I mean by this game being so fucking cool. Like, it's 
you could say it's a little cheesy with like the blah, blah, it's blah, 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 language, but I don't know. I think it's fucking sweet. The French don't suck at everything. Oh, what the hell's happening to the fucking uh, moon planet? All right. So we go this way. We broadcast. And then... Step four, prop it. So now... Or at least as many as we could render. Fucking book it! I mean, at least it's uh, the, the enemies. It's not some crazy omnipotent thing. It doesn't know we're here. So, even though this does look... Oh, bio-organic. That's the, uh... Wait. Bio... Ah, shit. I don't remember terminology. But that mixture of man and machine, that kind of thing, whatever the fuck that's called. So, apparently, there's no, like, uh... Sensors. Ooh, so many stimulations from the pitter-patter of Shawnee's feet. All right. Go! Be careful, Paige. Your weight might break the button. And then we'll be going into the ceiling and beyond. All right. Now we have to dodge Laser McGee. Nice. And we're going to get that little cutscene again because fuck it. I want to be the button. Let's go. Or this button. Double H! Ten four. Dumbasses. Button pushing with ADHD patients. Anyway, we got K buffs, which restore our health completely, according to the vendor. We want this. Now, I swear, if we have to... We're gonna have to run all the way back there because there's that three-button switch. No. Transmitter. Maybe they'll disable the field and we could just take the beluga out and land the bitch and not have to go through the whole motherfucker again. Eight hours, two. It's actually been only about seven hours, two, because I had to take that phone call, like, the last session. So... Uh, Babalu, bitch. All right. Well, I forgot. Uh, M six T eight. Uh, la la la. M six T eight. Holy shit! Amigos, Segundo el Magnifico is going to show you who is the best. Two. One. System blocked. <laughs> nice job, Magnifico! <laughs> More like Secundo El Major Screw Up, King of the Cretans, Pope of Silencio, the Silencio, my little piglet. Look. Opening system data. Hello, General Secundo. At your service. I have una amiga who would like to broadcast a little report. Set up an alignment on 21.3. Even your literal inventory helps you in the end. In more ways than one. Fire the jizz! I mean the photo cannon! Those 
traitors from the Iris Network, our enemy, the Doms, have broken through our protective borders and infiltrated your city. Enough is enough. Amigos, senores, senoras, y of course, senoritas, keep open your eyes, ersi tutti quanti. I'm not going to be wasting your time with big speeches. I just wanting to show you the whole big picture. Los Alpha Section are traitors, banditos, impostors, rascals, wooden nickels. Look at these photos that we have taken. The Alpha Sections are the accomplices of the Dom's forces. The Alpha Sections are the ones who... It'd be a whole lot cooler if uh, the photos aren't... <laughs> and... Since the beginning, we have been manipulated and deceived. Stop listening to the lies that the Alpha Sections are telling you. And why should we believe you, mysterious quadra, 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 four people? You can tell it's a French game because it's just like, with the slightest provocation, it's just like, fuck it, tear it all down! are still on the Dom's base. We have to go back for them. For the time being, we better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure in Oh! Well, hot trigger to jam, we gotta get the fuck out of here. They blew up my save station, bastards. Uh Mr. Tram. It don't promise me a good time. Get in the motherfucker. It's them that's going to be the big problem because uh, I can run. They have a brisk jog to do. So I'm just going to fly out and oh, cutscene. We blew up the Death Star, or, well, you know. Uh, well, I, it was more like a lawnmower, but, you know. Okay, press tab to read. The truth has finally been revealed by our trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network. The Aye. alien people have joined forces to drive the Alpha Sections out of Hillis. Once again, the honorable journalistic profession was able to show that it had a preponderant role in the history. <laughs> Journalism. Okay, uh, uh, let, let's cross-reference trustworthy colleagues at the Iris Network. Oh, I have to use my keys. Iris Network terrorists have been spreading sl- Okay, yeah, they're journalists. Okay, oh, I just do that? Yeah. So, rodents, tangled in my I think I could just do that. Oh, full son of a bitch! Fire. Yeah, we have to do this this way. Well, not getting hit. It's like Ikaruga, but with like a third of the difficulty. Oh, can't go down. We gotta wait. We gotta go around.
Okay, and we want that. Oh, chicken banana. Want that. And we want that. Go around here. Oh, you fucking idiot. You got pooped on. Uh, soldiers versus ship. We'll have to launch the hovercraft. I'm fully aware of that I'm taking care of business office depot. Well, whatever. Yeah. At least we have that as an option. So, do we dock the fucking hovercraft in the thing? Well, how do we do that? There. Oh, a convenient dock. And a convenient save station. Ooh, ooh ee, ee. All right, uh, eight, eight, seven. Blah. Oh, well, Carlson and fuck you. What? Aha! Not him, you dumbass. Yes, sir. Wait. Yes, sir. <laughs> just have them face us, and then uh, Double H will just crash into them. That's cool beans. Ooh, button. Okay, well, where's Major Dickhead? What were you hoping for, huh? Everyone you ever loved is already dead. If he's impaled, this game will go from... 10 to metal real fucking quick. <laughs> yep. We sucked them dry. Big mama no. Fluids so that we could live longer. <laughs> He's looking for you. He's been on your trail for centuries. Your days are numbered. May the angels of darkness rise to glory. <sighs> Hardly knew ya. Personal photo. <laughs> Dickhead. All right. Uh, oh, nothing special. We have to get back There's to a the big ass so button for the started. tractor beam and nothing else. Yeah. Someone else still alive? No, there's no one left. <laughs> Fucking rad. Fuck you. Everyone aboard the love boat. Yeah. Oh, Beluga, where are you, darling? Oh, fuck you over there. Come here, asshole. All right. Okay. Look out! They're sending in the cavalry. Sweet Jesus, they're everywhere! I don't give a shit. I've got. Repair pods. Doing it this way because uh, I just find this a little easier. I don't know if we're supposed to do this or not, but we're going to. Like, if it's obvious that they're like infinitely respawning or something, we'll just go ahead and land. Oh. Where the fuck they get those? 
the fuck are Y wings? All right. All right. Don't shoot the friendlies. Also, somebody is behind us, and this game doesn't have dog fighting technology. That's what I'm trying to do. Epic rotation. All right. Well, whatever you do, don't hit me. All right. I, I can't. It's around here somewhere. Oh, wait, it's lower, I think. Where in this? Where, where, where is this shit? Oh my goodness. Well, the coast may be clear, but my view isn't. Someone is definitely after me. Who is shooting at me? I just want to say you're an asshole. No, it fucking isn't. Is it just a, it's got to be above like that. That's just that's just what's happening. It's above us. Oh, there it is. Good Lord. Dumber than a brick. Okay, so we're going to have the fucking air cav circling us while we're trying to do other shit like saving the game. Ha 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 epic space battle i mean it is actually pretty impressive that they were able to do epic space battle and then just have it land like, like have you land on the strip and it's still kind of do still going on okay okay thanks for everything my companions you're starting to have some grand speech there shawnee Dom's Theedra. Greenman. Come back to me. You have served your master well, John. You alone have brought the Hillians to me. They have followed you blindly. Miss Jade. Dorthal part on you. Ah! It's a trap! One bower beams, no. The pig has hidden your origins from me. Jay, no! Don't listen to him! Not again. You are the source of my powers, the instrument of my strength. They took you away in the hope of destroying me, but I have survived. Feeding is that your weak spot? The most miserable of separate. They made you human, but you are not like them. You are mine, Johnny, and I am going to kill the human part of you. David! Johnny Dom Yendra! I... Uh, we can move some hearts over to Double H if he dies a few times. I need a box of K-Buffs to restore, fully restore my energy. Sponsored by Kmart. It worked! Wait, Double H. Oh, 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 funky tunes, everybody's got them, but they need them, and I got that camera in the way, holy titties. It's not the real page! That's a lot of money for, that we can't use. It's cool, though. What am I doing? Am I throwing dry discs at him? Nope. That is not what we're doing. Dude. The hell? 
Oh, I'm attacking him directly. Fuck you, Skullface. First I was, first I was playing Crash Bandicoot Runaway Simulator. Now I'm playing uh, Beat the Shit Out of Aku Aku. Or Uka Uka. Who is it? Uka Uka. I don't know. I don't play Crash Bandicoot. Holy fucking Christmas. Get out of my way. I guess it'll just kind of show up wherever. Uh, now what? <laughs> Get up. Oh, fucking hell. He's getting a little bit stupid. Okay, where's Double H? Took a picture of him. Do you reckon he has a picture? Nope. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, it we're fighting a bunch of them. It's your fault that we're suffering this day. Abandon. I mean, I imagine it's gonna be relatively easy because they have like only one health point or something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's no invincibility frames afterward. And they come up as one of these things. We just smack them in the balls. There we go. He spawns in. We smack him. And then we get hurt. Controls are reversed. Fuck you. But at least it's slow. Just wherever he shows up. Oh my gosh. That's some pretty quick re Oh my gosh! Let me up! Don't do this! Do not! Stick me in a corner! God damn! I hate getting cornered! Oh gosh. No, that that drives me up the wall faster than you can... Like, no, that, that doesn't drive me up the wall. That gives me the anxiety attack from hell whenever I get cornered like that and I can't do whatever. And usually that happens whenever like clock speed is too high on like old PC games and shit. So I'm not 100% convinced that that's not just a, a product of the fucking PC port. Johnny Obadiah's tentacles. <sighs> and now the shitty part. But I'm not moving. I'm going to stay in the center and do like opposite day. Or get cornered immediately. Fuck you. No. Okay. I'm also not facing the right way because I'm stupid. No, I'm, I'm pushing the wrong button. Also, I want K-Bups. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get to the center. Oh, fuck. You. Damn it. Get up and kick his ass, please. Fuck you! Fuck! That is the most aggravating shit. Oh, I bet that's going to be reversed as well. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. It's not reversed, at least. One, two, three, four, up. Fuck more! God damn, I hate this. One, two, fuck you. One, two, oh, of course. I just, there's no way to tell. It's just random Andy. Fuck! I'm glad I didn't give my sh partners any fucking health. Otherwise, this would be even worse. That works. And I'm still getting up and down confused. Oh, fuck you! Damn it. Is there something else I need to do? Like, this seems like I need to do something else. Well, actually, whoop. Why didn't you just do that before? Very, uh, team Ico. Oh shit. It's Dwayne Johnson. I mean, perhaps a bit of an overdramatic ending, but I mean, still kind of epic. I think the pacing of the story is a little bit quick there at the end. It's like all of a sudden everything fucking happens. And yeah, this is never really explained. What? <laughs> Michael Ansel. Okay, okay. It wasn't Yves Guillemot. Oh. Well, there he is! Fuck it! Yeah, okay, Michael Ansel, I don't even think works for Ubisoft anymore, so whatever Beyond Good and Evil 2 might be in another 5 million years, um, it ain't gonna be the same. Mmm, Christopher Hedal. I wonder what else he's done. And sound designers. Anytime the sound designer also does the music, I swear everything comes together a little better. 
say Half-Life 2, same thing. Uh, although Half-Life 2's, uh, oh, Jade engine. Apparently this was a custom engine. Um, but in Half-Life 2, the, one of the level designers also composed the music and like the sound effects. So was, that, that's one of the reasons why that game just sounds so damn good is because like the music and everything is coordinating. And Pascal Michael Stifle uh, composed the Hat in Time soundtrack, but he was also the sound designer, so everything fits together. I love it when I see that in this game. It doesn't surprise me that that's the case here, honestly. Alexandra Ansel. Ooh, possibly Michael Ansel's wife. Or sister, or somebody else. Who could... Bertrand Israel. I, isn't it so weird to see a credit sequence that can have that large of text and it's still like a small team that made this? And that's what indie games are so good at doing. Like you get talented people together, you can have these small teams and develop products like this. These cool, rather short, but you know, cool little things like the aforementioned half and hat, hat in time. Olivier. And unsurprised me that this is the ending song because holy shit, it's good. I like the fact that Yves Guillemot was was like he was a like a big producer. He was actually more of a part of this, I think, than most other Ubisoft games before or since. Could be wrong about that. I don't really know. I don't exactly follow the man's everyday life. I couldn't tell you the last time he took a shit. I do have to say, um... I don't have much to say. Like, it's a short game. It's less than 10 hours. We hit maybe nine hours, but at the same time, there was an hour that I was spent taking a phone call, so it was only about eight hours. It's a short game, unless you get lost, and I'm damn sure I could have cut it down by at least half an hour, if not a full ass hour, if I was, you know, not an idiot and knew where I was going, like the slaughterhouse and whatever. Man, I didn't see. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Has it shown the English voices yet? Italian. I could just look up on IMDB who voiced uh, Jade and everybody else. See what else they've done. NL. Netherlands. I assume. All right, can we just get to the end of the credits? I don't want to skip them because I don't want to skip the uh, the bonus thing. Because here's the thing: one of the reasons why people want a uh... well, actually, I'm gonna save that little explanation for later. But there's a very, very, very distinct reason why people a, s a small group of people, but in a way, kind of, I, I guess I'll join the ranks people who really want a sequel. No, actually, I'm not going to join. I don't want Ubisoft to get near a sequel. The time has passed. It's like saying, oh, I want EA to bring back the Burnout games. No, I fucking don't. Burnout Paradise was one, like, Burnout was one pair, but what's one game away from being basically perfect. But with modern EA, fuck, I don't want them getting within 10 miles of another Burnout game. In the same way, I don't want Ubisoft getting within modern Ubisoft, like today's Ubisoft, getting within 10 miles of Beyond Good and Evil 2. It'll be open world. It'll be full of side quests that mean nothing unless, unless they take their little indie studios uh, program, like the kind that came up with Go Home and Grow Up or whatever, or Grow Home, and give them the license. That would be cool because it'd be like, here's a small studio with 
creative freedom, and maybe get in contact with Michael Ansel. Who knows? It comes out of nowhere and then it pulls that shit. So yeah, the people reason people want to be on Good and Evil 2 is because of the same reason people want Half-Life epi 2 Episode 3. Fuck that ending. Fuck that final boss fight too. That sucked dick. But hey, that's Beyond Good and Evil. Hadn't played it in like, well, not... I played up to a certain point a few years ago, but I didn't get to the slaughterhouses, so hadn't really played the game in over 20 years. So, um, almost literally 20 years. <whistles> Time's a bitch. Anyway, uh, shout outs to my mama, wherever she is in the afterlife, and... This was a game that she really enjoyed, and I kind of enjoyed it too. Is it rough in some places? Sure, but it's 2003, so... And it's the PC port is a bit of a bitch sometimes if you're trying to record it, but hey, nothing's perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. Beyond Good and Evil is no exception. But I highly recommend it if you have not played it. If you've watched this entire thing, then you almost have no reason to play it because the gameplay is not exactly particularly fluid. It's fluid gameplay, but it's not particularly dynamic. You're not going to have your own interesting stories to come out of this. So take it as it is, but whatever. It it it's a wonderful game. You could get it cheap. So yeah. Uh, also, I really like the logo because it's like, it's like a mysterious symbol that's also like a camera shutter. So yeah. Beyond Good and Evil. And that, that, remember the trailer for Beyond Good and Evil 2 that they came out with? It was like, it's a prequel to Beyond Good and Evil. Fuck you, Ubisoft. An open world fucking dickhead. Mission based. La di da. Open world. I already said that, but fuck you twice. And then they were dropping the F bomb every seven. It's like, no. Beyond Good and Evil is not a mature rated title. If you want to reboot it and make it mature like the Tomb Raider games, fair whatever i may disagree with you but there we go and i i like one of some of my favorite games are mature rated titles i'm not a prude i'm not any shit like that but if you're doing continuations don't fuck with the rating keep it consistent make a sequel the same rating as the as the previous make a prequel the same rating as as it's pre sequel Whatever, I'm going on a rant. It, 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 fuck it. Good game, good time, good beer, good friends. I'm out of water. Bastards. So, thank you very much for watching. I am the Dave, signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope to see you next time on whatever the fuck it is I play. Boy, shit did I not think ahead. But hey, that's life. This is Dave.